We want to take a closer look now at the case of missing teen Amber Dubois, who Ben Tracy just talked about. Amber's mother, Carrie McGonigal, joins us now from San Diego. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning. What is your response to this arrest of John Garter? And know that he uh, that uh, authorities believe that he was involved in the way he was in in your community. Well, the fact that he you know wore a, a monitor up until 2008 and Amber went missing in 2009, I would think he would have been one of the very first people he uh, Escondido Police Department looked at. Mm. I know there was a widespread search and lots of volunteers involved in trying to find your daughter. And among the volunteers, some even monitored uh, Mr. Gardner and even took pictures of him. Uh, I don't know about the pictures, but I know he was one of them that, that our volunteers did monitor. Did you have any sense that the police or the authorities there thought of him as a suspect in your, in your daughter's case? No, I still, I still don't know if they actually um, interviewed him on Amber's case specifically. I mean, they did their routine checks that they do with all the uh, sex offenders, but I don't know that he was actually questioned with Amber's disappearance. Yeah. This has been one hellacious, long, horrific year for you, this yes. sense of not knowing where your daughter is. You actually told uh, one reporter, some, in some ways it would be better off knowing your daughter were not alive than, than living with this not knowing. Is, is that really how you feel? Well, I mean, I need closure one way or another. Her dad and I both need closure, mm -hmm. so. Um, not that we want to bury our daughter, but we need some closure. Yeah. Does it feel like to you that John Gardner might have abducted your daughter? No. But I don't know if that's just denial or if that's, it's probably just denial, but I don't, I, I don't see it that he did it. I think someone, I think a different sex offender. You think somebody else may have done it? Yeah. Wow. He's, he seems a little sloppy in, his, uh, in what he does. Yeah. Uh, do police have a sense that, do, have they communicated with you at all that they have talked to, to Gardner about your daughter's disappearance? They haven't communicated that they've talked to Gardner, but they have communicated that as of yesterday, they hadn't found anything that linked them with Amber. Mm. If nothing else, if this you know, brings some extra attention to the disappearance of your daughter, there may be uh, some good in this, I guess, right? Yeah, well, we're starting up searches again at, uh, on the 13th for Amber. Mm. Carrie McConnell, we thank you th very much for taking the time to speak with us uh, this you. morning. We wish you the best. All right. Thank you. Take care.